Hello and welcome to Merlin's Brick News, the weekly show on all things brick building where we talk about set updates and announcements from all the major brands, mocks of the week and we have a few reading recommendations as well. Information is as always presented by setdb.org, the best source for set information on the internet and actually we have been quite busy on this site so we are now, we have reached I think this week 15,000 sets in the database where you can get information on and we are now at 42 brands and I think this is the big at my effort that we had in the last couple of days and weeks. So we added a few more brands um, from uh, Chinese brands, I think most and foremost, including now with Zigao and lots two brands that also sell sets in different brick sizes. So not the regular bricks, but uh, mini bricks or diamond bricks, whatever you may call it. Um, so there's a lot of stuff now coming in, in this. You can see this usually in the title of the set, like for instance here from Zegao, the coffee bookstore does sign mini blocks and also we have have now in details um, a, a feature or property called a brick size. In this case, it's mini. So all of this is brand new. So um, you may want to take a look at it. We have a ton of information, but obviously we are still in the let's say beginnings um, of filling out information for all of this, all of these sets and all of this data, um, collecting it all together. But we also have lots of other brands that we added. I think overall we added five or six brands in the last couple of days. So we have now I don't know DK for instance. K-Box, I think, is relatively new. Linus is new. Voma, two more. Kittycraft, actually, we have in on the site for quite a while. However, that's a German brand. I think you can't buy this um, internationally. Actually, we, even in Germany, we cannot buy it yet. Right now, it's in crowdfunding phase. But I've already added it because they are already on its way over here to Europe. Anyhow, long story short, um, the amount of uh, brands is still growing. Um, obviously, still let, um, if you look at quantity, uh, of course, by Blue Bricks, Lego, Kobe, the European brands, and they have most of the sets. However, even if you go into UL, right? I mean, the if I talk about fifteen thousand sets, it usually means like it's like ten k from Lego roundabout, or nine k from Lego, and six k from all the other brands combined. Obviously, still most and foremost dominated by Lego. Anyhow, uh, with that, we are leaving set DB and we're moving on to new sets, set updates, and here we are starting as always in alphabetical order with Blue Bricks, and here we have an interesting one because I think this is not the correct translation by Blue Bricks. Actually, it's no translation at all. This is... I actually don't know how this car is called internationally, but in Germany it's called Papa Mobile, which basically means that's the car of the Pope. Um, and it's a 107 269. It's a six stud vehicle, like basically the size that uh, Lego used to do for the Speed Champions until a couple of years ago when Lego switched to the eight stud format. It has 246 pieces or will have, I should rather say. This is just an announcement. So we can expect this uh, somewhere this year. And yeah, I mean, it's a car that, I think it's a Mercedes G-Class, isn't it? That the Pope is uh, driven around, um, basically when, you know, he's going into the crowd, into the masses. Um, I actually don't know if they are still using this car, but I remember a couple of years ago, they definitely did. And with that, we're moving on to a big announcement by Blue Bricks. We do not have a piece count yet, but Blue Bricks is again investing into their castle series series or um, yeah I guess it's a castle series and now we have the Ravenstone Fortress and here we have a set called the base fortress it is going to be the 107423 this is again a blue bricks pro set so um, I think the um, original one was called what was it called a beer stone castle or something like that or beer rock beer rock like beer from from the animal beer not beer the drink um, and um, basically it was a modular concept, relatively simple, rough design, basically a little bit like the old sets from the old days, right? More for kids with a relatively simplistic design, but highly modular. And you could buy a ton of extensions based on a base castle, if you will. And this is now again the same concept. My understanding is even that from the uh, modularity concept point of view, it's compatible. So you can even combine it with all the other castle extension, obviously the regular castle was more light bluish gray color scheme and this seems to be dark bluish gray I think um, but I guess the idea is to have basically a complete second lineup and and I assume because this is already called base fortress 
I assume that we will have also specific extension for this one as well. Obviously, um, it has a certain, let's say, Lord of the Rings vibe, I would say. So this could be a nice thing. I don't know, if you have a good collection of Lego Orc minifigures, for instance, uh, this could be your cup of tea. In general, I do expect I did say Brick Spicing Bow at this point in time because that is the standard um, with Blue Bricks Pro. However, um, especially this beer, was it beer rock or beer stone? I can't recall. Anyhow, this castle was actually Go Bricks pieces. Um, so yeah, let's see, we'll figure this out. And obviously I can then uh, switch um, the Brick assumption, but at this point in time, I guess the safest bet is Zing Bao. Anyhow, we do not have a piece count, like I said. Um, and as always with Bluebricks Pro, it's very hard to predict when we will see the release. With specials, you can usually say, let's like, say, six months, plus minus. Uh, with Pro, Pro, sometimes it's just a few weeks, sometimes it takes forever, so who knows. Anyhow, we are moving on to another announcement by um, what they call the American van, the 107698. Um, I mean, obviously, this is a very famous car from a TV series um, from the, I don't know, when was A-Team, like 80s or 90s, I guess. Um, and however, obviously they do not have a license, but I mean, it's just, it's just a standard van. It's a six dot vehicle, the 107698. It's going to have 248 pieces. And then I think this is quite interesting. The 107823, uh, the Governor's Island Admiralty, <coughs> Admiralty, Admiralty Frigate. I'm not sure if that word is correct, Admiralty. I'm not so sure. Um, anyhow, I guess the problem is more on my side. Uh, the 107A23, it's going to have 1,681 pieces. And obviously, this is like the counterpart to the Pirate Island brick. So, Blue Ricks has this, as you can see here. ZTP has calculated a couple of related sets. Um, Blue Bricks has this Pirate versus Governor Island um, lineup, which of course takes is basically an homage to the original Pirate sets from the old days from Lego. And I think it's a great lineup. These sets are really, really amazing. I mean, I've done some reporting on them. I've, I've actually built a couple. They are also, again, the idea is to have, let's say, a relatively simple design with modern building techniques. Um, I think generally they have done a real great design here with these sets and um, they are all highly modular. Again, you can combine them, you can build uh, enormous pirate islands or governor islands uh, dioramas and then they have two ships. One is the brick, um, which is for the pirates, of course. It's more in a brown or reddish brown color tone and now they, ha they have this one in a white and I guess dark blue kind of vibe um, as as they did in the in the past with the brick, I think at this point in time they do not have rendered pictures including sails, but you can expect that they the ship will include fabric sails. In general, it seems very similar to the brick. Uh, definitely a set, as you can see, I've put in uh, availability alert into SETI B on this one because that's definitely something I want to build. I had a lot of fun with the brick back in the day. However, it had some problem with Technic Axel. So the, to build building the masts basically required to use a hammer and you had to ha literally hammer it together and you could never take get these pieces apart. So they had definitely a problem there with the large axles and the masts. So I do hope that they have uh, get this get this one fixed. And then we have, I think, the mother of all sets for Brain into the S. Bluebricks has announced that they will release the 107828, the locomotive Swiss crocodile, and this thing is going to have 8,760 pieces. That's kind of ridiculous. This thing is one meter in length. It's a locomotive in bricks. One meter, just the locomotive. It's going it's be it's going to be 34 centimeters in height and six and a half in width. So yes, this is like I said, the mother of all locomotives built in bricks. I think there are not even many mocks that can compete with this. Um, this thing is enormous. It's it's a giant behemoth. I'm so interested, but I don't think that I'm going to build this one. Um, it's it's going to be crazy, <laughs> but. It is a cool set, right? I mean, I mean, Blue Bricks is really putting this to the extreme, I should say. However, they have done, I mean, if you um, sort here by pieces, yes, this is the one, the 106969 that released a couple of weeks ago. Uh, this is the V100, also a German uh, diesel locomotive that they released 
um, a couple of weeks ago, um, it had 5,400 pieces. I think it was quite a success. It was sold out almost immediately. Um, so yeah, I think Blue Bricks is on a is on a good good path here. And I think yeah, it's it's just amazing, right? It's I mean depending on if you like our trains or not, but it's so exciting what they did here. And it's so much cooler, if I may say, than what LEGO did with the Harry Potter train. Because this is what train enthusiasts want, right? Anyhow, uh, let's move on to the small gray pickup, the 107832. 132 pieces, yes, that's a sharp contrast. Um, it's it's an 8 stud car, so nothing nothing special. It's from the Modbrix sub-brand of Blue Bricks. And then we have the local bus, the 107179. So yeah, I guess this bus, it's it's not technically, it's not minifigure scale, but obviously the idea is with this 8 stud format that you can throw in minifigures. So it has a lot of seats on the inside. I think we cannot, I don't know, it's maybe like, I don't know. Eight, eight seats or something like that. So yes, the idea is definitely that you can throw in minifigures. It's, by the way, to this day quite interesting that Blue Bricks, now that they have started to make their own minifigs, however, these minifigs need different seats than the LEGO minifigures need. But to this day, uh, Blue Bricks keeps uh, uh, releasing sets that are most and foremost made for LEGO minifigures, which makes sense, I guess, right? I mean, they have to look into all directions, and obviously most uh, Blue Bricks buyers still use most and foremost LEGO minifigures, and I guess this is not going to change. By the way, this is not an announcement. This is actually availability um, information. And then we move on. Also available now is the Blue Bricks Arcade Building um, the 106, 855, 769 pieces, 30 bucks, 3.9 cents a piece, and not too shabby. And yeah, this is like a small building. It's a little bit like the Lego Creator sets the smaller buildings, right? It's a full blown building, it has a back wall, but at the same time, it's highly modular. So you can, which from my point of view is the best of all worlds, right? It's modular to the top, like, like a regular modular building um, in the Lego world, but you can also remove the back wall. And this is exactly how it should be. Be, right this is how in my personal point of view this is how building should look like by means yes it is a full-blown building it has four walls yes what a what an invention um, but at the same time it's highly and the playability is there because it has a ton of studs to throw in your minifigures and um, you can remove the walls can remove the roof etc etc so great design cool play set for kids and then we have the electric 1000 ps that is by the way <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes Lurix is not that good with the um, uh, with the translation. So PS is the German word, uh, German short term for Pferdestärken. That means horsepower. Um, so yes, they should maybe have translated the PS. But anyhow, this is what the title is. So this is, I'm going to read it. 1000 PS X SUV, the 107310. Obviously, this is a Tesla X Model X. But um, um, like with, like very often, Blue Bricks has not um, um, licensed the trademark. Anyhow. Um, Personally, I'm not a really big fan of this design. I think the Model X is really with all the curved, um, with the curved roof. It's very hard to do, and I think that they, they just didn't manage it, right? I mean, especially these curves here look very rough. I don't know. It, it's not really my cup of tea. However, the front, the hood, or the bonnet, whatever you may call it, that is actually very well done. I think that is depicted very well. But if I, if you look more in the back area, um, I'm not the biggest fan. Anyhow, Blue Rix is selling this thing with 393 pieces for 13 bucks. As always, by the way, I forgot to mention my standard sentence. Uh, keep in mind for the international audience, in Europe, that always includes a tax, value add tax. Anyhow, we are that, with that, we're moving on to the tuning garage. The 107183, it has 1,034 pieces and it's going to cost you 45 bucks. I'm a big fan of this building. I think it re looks really, really cool. It's on a 32 by 32 plate, actually. That's not a base plate. For all of you pure Lego enthusiasts, you may not know this, but a actually a lot of companies are making these nowadays, these 32 by 32 plate, which obviously has a ton of benefit compared to a base plate because um, basically you can put, you can build it, um, uh, you can build it very easy. You can put it on a sandwich, um, construction very easily, right? So for instance, I mean, the problem is, right, if you build, for instance, a Lego modular, Lego puts this on a base plate. If you decide later on to put this on a different base, then you are in trouble, right? There's basically no way how you could do it. Basically, you have to put the building apart and change the base plate against base plates. And the base plate against plates. That's what I wanted to say. However, Blue Bricks is going this way here with the 32 by 32 plate. And that, of course, means you are very flexible, right? You can 
just put it on the floor um, or on the desk, on a table like it, um, like here. But you can also put it later on on a sandwich. You can put it later on. I don't know. You can even you know go do an you know, go below or anything like that. So you're much more flexible, which is really cool. But the building itself is also quite nice. Um, I think, yeah, again, it is, it's just a full-blown building with everything that you need, right? Like four walls, it's modular. Um, you can put in a six-stud car in the garage. Um, obviously, I think you have a problem with the roof here, right? If you, no, no, it's, no, no, it's open. So yeah, it's, it's, I think it's a great design. It has everything that a building needs and Bluex is selling this for 45 bucks. I mean, come on, this is amazing. Anyhow, with that, we're moving on to Lego and Lego does not have, by the way, I, I'm fully aware that actually when I'm recording this right now, Lego just released a couple of hours ago, the information on the new Star Wars wave for March 1st. But when I made, you know, when I put everything together for the today's show, um, which is by the way, always kind of a, has exactly the same co um, content then I, uh, do for the German variant of this show and um, this is actually something that I did yesterday so that's the reason why I'm sometimes a bit behind but don't you worry next week I'm definitely going to talk about all the new Lego stuff for March 1st Star Wars however today we're talking about a gift with purchase however technically we're not sure if it's a gift with purchase right um, this could be a GWP means you know you buy something at lego.com and then you get this for free or it could be something that you buy for insiders points I'm at, at this point in time not aware uh, but this may be due to my ignorance um, that in which direction Lego wants to go. But the cool story is here, what they are doing now is making micro-builds of um, Ninjago City, which is amazing because these sets are enormous, they are huge, they are expensive, and they need a lot of space. But they are an amazing design from my personal point of view. Some of the best sets Lego has ever made, and now they're doing these micro-versions, which of course is a big thing in the mock scene. I have talked about many of these in mocks of the week in this show in the past what the mocking community is doing out there and now lego is going uh, also down this path which is amazing i mean there are so i mean imagine right there are so many sets where lego could do this and it would be amazing so anyhow with Ninjago city they are starting with the original Ninjago city set and uh, this is now the 40703, the Micro Ninjago City. And as you can see on these pictures, we will see a 704, 705 and 706 for the other three Ninjago City sets. And then you can put them together the same way as you can do with the bigger siblings, which is amazing. I definitely want to have this. I do hope that I will find a way to get my hands on one of these. Um, and yeah, I think um, I'm really looking forward to this. And this is actually all the Lego news that I have in today's show. But we also have now availability over here in Europe of two of the farm line sets uh, of Kizile. Um, and I'm not sure if I pronounce this correctly. The 90095. This is the... Uh, the Harvester, um, it has 303 pieces and sold over here in Europe for around 13 bucks. And then we have the Corn Picker, the 90093, 499 pieces. And uh, you can buy this over here in Europe for around four cents a piece. That is already that for this week on set updates. Two um, reading recommendations of three, actually. I wrote three pieces or published three pieces on different sets. So first we have the Fun Hole Sheriff of Sheriff's Office, the 9026 from Fun Hole. I'm a huge fan of the set, I must say. I mean this is this is just amazing. So I mean there's few things that I usually criticize with Fun Hole sets. Um, one is modularity. Many of their sets are not modular whatsoever. Then of course as always Fun Hole is integrating an amazing lighting kit. I mean this is the speciality of this company so that's fine. However very often it's not hidden very well. In this set that is, all, that is all not an issue. So um, first of all, it's, it's a nice set. It has a lot of detail, but overall the electricity is relatively well hidden, and including um, the battery box, which is actually under the, under the roof. And you can very easily just remove this um, um, roof piece here on the right. And then, you know, it's, it's, it's very easy to do. And then you can just, um, you know, activate the lighting, which is amazing. However, keep in mind, as always with funnel sets, there's also the alternative to put in a, just use a USB plug. But um, all the electricity is brought together on the roof. So basically it means you have your USB cable somehow starting from the roof, which of course may not be easy um, to hide on your shelf, etc., etc., depending on what your plans are with the lighting. But at least when you go for the included battery box option, it's 
perfectly well hidden. The other thing I want to point out is that this set is 100% Printed. There are no stickers in that. However, as you can see on this picture, um, I guess those of you who know a little bit about printing, this is not PET printed. This is UV direct print, um, which is not the same thing. I mean, it's not the quality is not the same as with PET printed pieces, but it's much cheaper to do, especially with smaller uh, numbers. Um, but nevertheless, there are 20, 20 um, printed pieces in there. I think it's more than 20 even. And um, yeah. No, no stickers whatsoever and great lighting. So it's a beautiful set, my point of view. A lot better, better than the predecessor Western Saloon. Anyhow, we're moving on to a Brick Hats um, kit. I just had to buy this one. I don't do that many Brick Hats um, because from my point of view, the building experience is not really that that great um, for uh, considering the price point. But the 40619 is something I had to buy because I'm a big Wally fan. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's a good set, I, I should say. I'm not a big fan of EVE. Um, from my point of view, LEGO really missed, missed the point here. I think EVE is just, I mean, yes, she is boring to a certain degree, but actually she is not, right? If you look at the movie, and um, I think they could have made her much more interesting. For instance, you know, give her her gun uh, would have been really nice because it's a cool scene in the movie. I mean, come on, what she's doing there, you know, with the almost nuclear bomb-like fashion when she starts shooting is so amazing in the movie and, you know, how scared Wally is. Um, but, and then they did hear the small Easter, Easter egg with the plant in her belly, if you will, but I mean, it would have been so nice if, because Wally is actually carrying the plant, so it would have been so cool if there would have been like a small play function to throw in the plant into her, you know, into her torso. And I think this is missed here. Plus, I think the designers made a big mistake. There are blue pieces on the inside, like Azure, dark Azure pieces. And as you can see on this picture, you can see this blue from the outside, uh, which is, I think, you know, there's a lot of debate on all this coloring that Lego is doing on the inside, but you should not be able to see it on the outside. I mean, she is a white figure, so you should not be able to see this blue shining through. This is a huge, huge miss on Blue Rick's side, on Lego's side. So long story short, Wally is cool. Eve, uh, I don't know, not not really that good. Anyhow, um, then I did a review, and this is something that I think is said from it, from the non-European audience. Um, um, I think set that may not be that well known because I think it's not easy to buy internationally. So this is a set that's actually the Lego House and Belland, and this is. Um, it's an architecture set that originally was made to be sold in the Lego house in Billund in Denmark. And you could only buy it over there. So that was 2017 when the current Lego house was opened. Um, and um, however, when the pandemic started, I guess Lego had a lot of these, you know, um, in the warehouse. So they decided to sell it also online. So since a couple of years, we can buy it online. Um, however, then it was for quite some time not available. Anyhow, last year it got available again. I think I did some reporting on this. So I always wanted to build this. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's a nice architecture build. There's a lot of interesting color in there, obviously. Um, by the way, this architecture design is designed around 21. Um, basically the building is made out of in quotes 21 Lego bricks so that's the idea here that you basically build these bricks obviously it's very easy to do a house made of Lego bricks in Lego bricks so um, it's not a complicated build very very, very well done um, but yeah I mean the only thing that I had to criticize is the digital instructions are really really bad so the resolution of the PDF is awful and um, this is something that happens from time to time I have also built other sets um, it's it's really astonishes me why, why Lego has these problems sometimes because there are PDFs from this era that are perfectly fine crystal clear super sharp and then you have other PDFs who I don't know are entirely muddy and this thing here is on the muddy side of things not as bad as some other sets so i remember the ideas big bang series set that pdf was awful like it was almost impossible to build based on it and here it was okay plus figuring out the colors for instance the green colors in the pdf do not match with the real world colors which was not easy because you have right three different green tones in here anyhow long story short nice little build however it's going to cost you 50 bucks with that we are moving on to mocks of the week and here we have by Jelko again an amazing micro diorama i'm a huge fan of what this designer is doing and uh, it has 925 pieces for the planet endor with death star 2 
And it's just, you know, it's relatively simple by means, I mean, not the starships. They are amazing, amazing Star Destroyer, by the way. Cool Star Destroyer build. Really like this micro build. Also the um, Super Star Destroyer, the Executor. Amazing. I mean, it looks almost as good as the one from Lego, but it's much smaller. So that's not easy to do. By the way, this thing should look amazing with lighting. And this is definitely something where you may want to throw in some, I don't know, light my bricks or bricks max stuff. Anyhow, um, in general, I really like the starships. The diorama itself is really simple, right? This is just a very standard um, snot technique, uh, quite easy to build, I imagine. And um, yeah, I mean, it's it's a brilliant design. Uh, 925 pieces, like I said, and $6.50. And then we have something that I also really enjoyed. I almost couldn't believe that you could do this that well in in that size and that's this is admiral akbar you know it's a trap <laughs> uh, it's done by a designer that actually where well, i have no idea how to pronounce his name j form 315 i don't know 409 pieces only 10 bucks okay that's on the high side but it's just an amazing design and it was built in real i mean the idea to do the eyes with just two tiles, two by two, is, is amazing. I mean, it's so simple. And this is how this entire build, what I really like about it, it, it's, it feels so simple, but it's so amazing. I mean, it's very well done. I'm a big fan. And then um, I'm also a big fan of this one here by all Irvin experts. They have done a Nike store, modular building. Um, and I mean, this designer, I've done uh, some reporting um, or actually was showcasing several of these mocks in the mock of the week section because... They are just doing brilliant, modern, um, basically metropolitan um, uh, modular buildings because this is on a 32 by 32 base plates. It has the pin connectors. So the idea is to use it like a modular. So I did some um, here on the Sesto Elementor, but also on the Brabus dealership. Um, I actually did also report on the amazing pirate ships, but let's focus on these on these buildings. And especially the Brabus dealership was just so amazing. And now the Nike store. And what I really like is not just the looks, the modern look. I mean, this could literally be, I don't know, somewhere in San Francisco or something. So this is just cool from the design but it's also highly modular again something that i don't know for whatever reason a lego never manages to do many of these mock designers are so much better when it comes to modularity by means of easily accessing the building obviously if you want to put a light kit in this one you will lose most of the modularity but in general you can basically uh, depict this i mean this reminds me a lot also of some of the best buildings by also young who's also brilliant in that, right? Modern design, fresh design, um, at the same time, um, making these also highly modular. So yeah, very well done. Um, this should make uh, every every Lego city look a lot nicer. And with that, we're moving on to con the conservatory by Giffen uh, Creates. Um, it's a 10 dollar mark with 3,292 pieces and this again of course is a design like so many um, that is highly influenced by the botanical garden by by Lego right the Lego friend set which I don't know um, it's, it's just it was a great set by Lego I do believe I've actually never built it but whenever I see it I think okay this is this is a great design I mean the Lego friends team is really killing it right now and um, I think the Botanical Garden is, is one, of, one of these examples. And there are, but however, what the mock community is making out of these is even better. And I think this one here is a very good example. I mean, yes, it's just basically on two plain base plates. So obviously, or at least from my point of view, the idea is, okay, I have an idea for a building, but you, of course you're putting this in your own context, in your own city, in your own, I don't know, park landscape, anything like that. So... Um, that is, I guess, why it's so plain uh, on the outside, but I think that's totally fine. And it's a great idea, great concept. Keep in mind, this is not an alternate build. So this is a mock. However, the designer is saying if you buy one or two of the LEGO Friends Botanical Gardens, you have already, you know, most of the important pieces um, um, already in your at your disposal. Great design, really like the mock. And then we're moving on to uh, A-Fusion, A-Fusion, I don't know, uh, base for the Avengers Tower. I mean, we have, I've done some reporting on mocks like these in the past, and I think, yes, it's really great because the Avengers Tower by Lego is definitely missing something. I think Lego put in everything that they had to put in, but definitely having a base like this is really something that um, makes this mock or makes this building a lot richer. 
And um, so Avfusion has done a great design here. I think there is a lot of additional interior, a lot of potential to put in additional scenes. Actually, I would even tile up these floors. So for, I guess if I would build it, it's, it's going more in the 4,000 piece direction. Obviously, the building has to be very robust because you are, you know, throwing in the Avengers Tower on top of it or throwing on it. Um, so yeah, I think great design and I think have, has everything that the original tower was lacking. It's just, of course, a different interpretation how the tower could look like, depending if you're more into the cinematic universe or the original books. But yeah, here we go. And with that, we are moving on to a uh, 10193 remake. So this is a medieval marketplace by Lego and this is a remake by Tavernellos. And he needed or she needed uh, 2,137 pieces for 750. Um, I think as, as like I said, I mean, we all know that there are a lot of rumors out there that Lego is going to bring in new, uh, their own refresh of this marketplace. Uh, this year, actually, I think the rumors are even saying during March. I mean, I still can't believe it, but let's see. I mean, there's still a couple of weeks until then. And he said, okay, maybe let, let's let's get, let's get see what my take on this is. And obviously, the Medieval Marketplace was a very famous set from the Castle areas. Um, Castle areas? No, the Castle series, I wanted to say, um, from back in the day. So I think that is a great idea. And I think, yeah, he should do very well with this mock. Obviously, on the other side, a lot of folks made just say at this point in time, yeah, let's see what Legos, you know, what Lego is doing here before I invest into a mock build. And with that, we are moving on to the now ultimate collection from Trains with Lights. Obviously, this designer, I mean, I did reporting on this, has um, has invested a lot into different ideas what else you could do with the Lego Orient Express, like a much bigger locomotive, a lot more cars, different car designs, etc., etc. However, keeping the overall color scheme. So I guess this is this is a series of mocks that you can only build if you have the set, like I guess multiple times. However, if you have the budget for that, and if you're interested in that, and I think Trains with Lights has a lot to offer here in, in his or her portfolio, and now this ultimate collection is basically just all of these individual ideas are combined. So it's just like a value pack, if you will. And anyhow, you can buy it for 15 bucks. And yeah, like I said, <laughs> however, the 15 bucks should be the least of your problems because I guess you have to buy the set like three times um, in order... Um, yeah, I think you, at least for the locomotive, you need already two. So I think overall, you may need at least three um, to make this reasonable endeavor. I think even four, right? Because here he has put on like eight cars and there are two in the set. So yes, I think you have to buy the set four times. Oh, this is going to be so expensive, but nice train after that. And then uh, last but not least, the Fawn SLT Francisca Heavy Duty Tractor by Legolaus. 4,512 pieces, 25 bucks. Um, this looks like a Technic set, but I think technically it's mostly system build, I would say. And I think uh, you can even electrify it with seven up to seven motors. So yes, there's a ton of functionality in here, a lot of detail. I mean, it's huge, obviously. It's just, I mean, if you're into into Technic, um, I think this is this is just amazing. It's, it's designed, Stefan Weinert is actually the name, uh, as you can see here, I guess, um, somebody here from the German-speaking area, uh, based on the name. But anyhow, le anyhow, Lego Laos has done an amazing design here. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's also quite an investment, I am sure. Okay, that was that. I hope you did like the show. For those of you who watch this on YouTube, please leave a like or comment, better subscribe, even to the channel. This is definitely going to continue. We will continue to do these news shows every week going forward. However, you can also listen to this um, or even watch this, um, at least on Spotify. I'm even uploading the video feed. Um, so um, you can watch or listen to this wherever you, wherever you usually consume your podcast and wherever you are, please. Comment, subscribe, follow, whatever it is called, rate, um, whatever it is called on your platform. This is really helping me out. And yeah, with that, thanks for listening. See you next week.